Uh, I lived in uh, Slidell. We were, I was born in New Orleans, but lived in Slidell until I was about four years old. Then we moved to uh, New Orleans, back to New Orleans, and uh, went to school at uh, various public schools, grammar schools, and uh, then went to Forche High School and Warren Easton, went to, then went in the Coast Guard at 17 years old. Couldn't wait to get in. <laughs> in those days, things were very uh, much different than they are today, I'm sure. you. Not a lot of people are waiting to get in. I'm, uh, in those days, everybody was wanting to get in the, in the service. And when we went out to the Philippines, I'm not the Philippines, pardon me, the Hawaiian Islands, and we had some new Higgins boats, as they're called. In those days, it was LCVP. It was a 36-foot landing barge. Uh, she carried, uh, oh, I think 30-some-odd uh, boats, two or three of which uh, LCMs, which were 50-foot steel uh, 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 landing barge, and then the rest of the LCVPs. And, uh, we started off, the first uh, invasion was the invasion of, uh, we went, to, there was the invasion of uh, Macon and, and Tarawa. Uh, Anyway, and uh, we went to Macon with army troops, which was about 40 or 50 miles from Tarawa. Uh, Tarawa, yeah. Uh, and the Marines went there. Now, the Marines had, believe it, 50 miles made a big difference. We had no trouble getting on the beach. The ones from, uh, uh, well, you read about Tarawa was quite famous for having all kind of problems. The Marines got on the beach. It was first of all, it was low tide there, where we were. It was it was high tide, only 50, 40, 50 miles apart, but that's the way it was. And uh, the uh, it would be called the way back. And uh, from then, <clears throat> went back to Pearl Harbor, picked up more troops, went to Anawitak, Kwajalein, and. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the next one was Saipan. From then on, we didn't go back to Pearl Harbor. We stayed out, we stayed out for eight months. We smoke boated. Uh, I don't know if you, in those days, no, no, the radar really wasn't that good, especially the Japs had nothing like that. So uh, in order to shield the ships from the shore batteries, we ran up and down Oh, about a mile and a half off the off the beach, running back and forth with smoke smoke pots, uh, to where they they couldn't they the, the Japs couldn't uh, zero in on the on the ships, because that was their famous trick was to zero in on ships or the reefs. Uh, quite often, you uh, in the Pacific, you had uh, the first reef and then a lagoon. Well, you had to jump the first reef, and of course, you lost a lot of boats that way. <laughs> you can imagine, they were, the reefs were right near the, right near the surface. Uh, I mean, uh, if you didn't lose the boat, you lost the propeller. 